Uh, I just want to talk about gender. Um, we need to insist that our government and the media in this country start to discuss the fact that there is a genocide taking place in front of our eyes being committed by Israel and actively supported by the United States of America against the people of Gaza and the people of Palestine. And we all know that, and anybody with eyes to see can see it. And yet, this is not the discussion. They're still discussing in there the so-called Israeli right to self-defense, uh, when what we're actually seeing is the industrial scale deliberate mass murder of tens of thousands of people. That's what their intention is. 11,000 so far and hundreds more every day and children. This is the definition of genocide and yet it's, it is not being acknowledged uh, as such. And we have to uh, call our government to account for his shameful decision not to act against this genocide, these war crimes, and this crime against humanity. And if there's any doubt about that, I mean, the evidence is all before us. But if you haven't seen it, do you know that the Deputy Speaker of Israel's Knesset Parliament in the last few days said we are being too humane. We must burn Gaza. Yes. That's what they said. Yes. The deputy, it is absolutely shocking. And then Michal Martin goes over and walks around with these criminals and murderers. murderers. It is shameful. Shameful. Now, when they bring shame on this country by refusing to act against this genocide and these war crimes. We have to act instead. When there was a motion brought to the Irish Parliament four weeks ago calling for the expulsion of the ambassador, calling for the government for Israel to be referred to the ICC for war crimes, we got seven votes. Votes. Last week we got 55 votes. That's because of you. That's because of you mobilizing. Because the ordinary people of this country stand with Palestine even if Miho Martin and Varadkar stand with Netanyahu and Genocide Joe. So this this Wednesday. This Wednesday, people before prophets have another motion in the Irish Parliament. This motion calls for the Irish government to discharge its responsibilities under the Genocide Convention. And I want you to know about this. More than 140 countries, including Ireland, ratified the Convention on Genocide and that gives them the right to take action against any state that is or might intend to commit genocide. They have obligations to act to prevent genocide and that's what's happening. So that will be before the all this week. That motion will also say the U.S. military should be kicked out of Shannon Airport while the United States continues to support the war crimes of Israel. And finally, the motion will say, not just do we want the Israeli ambassador expelled, we want targeted sanctions against Netanyahu, every Israeli government minister, Every member of their military command, every official and representative of a state that is committing genocide and is guilty of apartheid. So, I invite you, get outside the door this Wednesday at 6 o'clock 
in our tens of thousands again. We got them from 7 to 55. Let's get them the rest of the way and overwhelm to force our government to act for the Palestinian people. <laughs> lastly, lastly I want to say this. The IPSC are calling national demonstrations all across the country next Saturday. Yes, yes. So you have to mobilise in your own town and your own village. We need to deepen the roots of this movement into every corner of Irish society. So go back and mobilise for that. But also, on the 29th November, it is the uh, day of solidarity with Palestine. What I think we should work towards on that day is mass walkouts from every workplace, from every college, in every community on that day. Stay organised for that. Thank you, people of the fight.